and also to the first session of day three. I'm extremely delighted to introduce the speaker of this session, Dr. S. Vijayrani Madam, who is working as an assistant professor in the Department of Computer Science, Bardia University. She is a committed educationist with 13 years of teaching and research experience, along with 11 years of technical experience. Her uh, expertise includes data mining, big data analytics, information retrieval, and data streams. She is a vibrant researcher with 200 plus publications in national and international journals. She has published one book and five book chapters at the international level. She has produced 28 MPhil and three PhD candidates, and now four PhD scholars in the pipeline. Her research profile with 1,600 Google Scholar citations, H index 20 and item index 33, speaks about her rigorous research aptitude. She has held various positions as a course coordinator, member of BOS for the university and other colleges. She is a proud recipient of several awards like Active Women Participation Award from Computer Society of India, Best Faculty Award from IAR Publications, Dr. Abdul Kalam Best Scientist Award from Bose Science Society, Senior Women Educator and Scholar Award from National Foundation for Entrepreneurship Development. She is a member of various professional bodies like CSI, ISCA, UACEE, IRED, and Internet Society. We are really happy, madam, to have you as a resource person. And I'm waiting along with the participants to hear from you on a new topic, augmented analytics. Again, we thank you on behalf of the organizing team of uh, AIMS 2021. The platform is yours, madam. We welcome you. Am I audible, ma'am? Yes. Okay. yes. Yes, madam. OK, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, madam, uh, for your nice introduction. Uh, most uh, respected uh, professor and uh, head, uh, Dr. Uh, Shanmugavadiyo, madam. Respected uh, co-chats, uh, Dr. Mary Shantirani, madam, and Dr. Kalai Chalvi, madam. Dear faculty friends and my dear participants, a very good morning to all. First of all, I would like to express my gratitude to the authorities of Gandhigram Rural Institute and the organizers for this program for providing the opportunity for me to act as a resource person for this virtual workshop on artificial intelligence. Uh, let me share my PPT. Quickly, we move on to the topic. Is PPT is visible? Ma'am? Yeah, it's not visible, ma'am. Okay, ma thank you. So the title of my uh, presentation is Augmented Analytics and Overview. This is the agenda of my presentation. I would like to discuss about uh, data analytics, business intelligence, and management information, and uh, the basics of uh, augmented analytics, its characteristics, benefits, advantages, what is the workflow of uh, augmented analytics, what are the tools which are related to augmented analytics, and some of the use cases. So before I uh, enter into the core of the topic, first we should know the existing technologies which are closely associated with augmented analytics. Because without knowing the state and working of current technologies, it is difficult to understand the newly arrived technology. 
So I would like to brief you about the current state of data analytics, business intelligence, and management information. Then we will discuss about augmented analytics. Because these uh, three are very important, they are closely related with augmented analytics. Let us see uh, what is data analytics. So in data analytics, the terms data, information, knowledge, and wisdom are used frequently. What is the relationship between these four terminologies? Because uh, the, we should know the what is data, uh, then what is information, what is knowledge, then what do you mean by wisdom? This is uh, the, the relationship is given and it is represented by using this pyramid, D-I-K-W pyramid. So here there are four levels. The bottom level is the data and the next higher level is the information. Then the third level is the knowledge and the final one is the vista. We know what is data. Here, uh, data, uh, what do you mean by data? Because as we are uh, from the computer science discipline, we know the importance of data. In the current scenario, the data never sleeps. 24 by 7, the data will be generated. Because of the usage of internet, smartphone, and the social media platforms. So what is the use of these a huge volume of data? How do we make use of these data effectively? For these reasons, there is an arrival of newer and newer technologies. So we come to the point, uh, what is data? Usually raw data. Data is nothing but a collection of fact or figures. So you, this is derived from the word datum, which means an item given. Normally, data defines the characteristic or uh, information. There are two types of data. One is qualitative data. Another one is quantitative data. So we know the difference between what is quantitative data and what is qualitative data. So here, the quantitative data is nothing but it can be counted, measured, and expressed using numbers. For example, age of a person, mobile number, sale, salary, all these are comes under quantitative data. Then what do you mean by qualitative data? So here the qualitative data is descriptive and conceptual. Normally, uh, the name of a person, uh, designation, that is the data which are represented using alphabets, numerals, and special symbols are called qualitative data. Here, uh, just to look at the uh, number, uh, uh, 12012012. What it is? It is just a sequence of numbers without any importance, without giving any importance. Suppose if we, uh, if we view this number in the context, that is, this is a date. Now we can easily recognize 12th january 2012 so by adding context and value to the numbers they have more meaning so this is the way we have to uh, provide uh, uh, we have to enrich our data with meaning and context the more knowledge and insights we get out of it so this help us to make better informed and data-based decisions so then after the data so we have to perform some kind of processing with the help of uh, adding the context or meaning or to perform some kind of a calc a processing task. Then the data is converted into meaningful information. So this is the next building block of the DIKW pyramid. So here the data has been cleaned of errors. That is the data should be error free. Then only we can able to do processing to make it easier to measure, visualize, and analyze for a specific purpose. Okay, they next goes to knowledge. The third building block is the knowledge. Knowledge gives the answer for the question, how? How can we apply the information to achieve our goal? So this knowledge and insights are mainly used for taking proactive decisions. 
Then we move on to the final step, wisdom. Wisdom is the top of the DIKW hierarchy. Here, uh, wisdom is nothing but how we are applying the knowledge to perform some kind of actions. So using knowledge, we have to perform something, some action to be performed. So how do we perform, how the knowledge is applied in action? So that is called the victim. So uh, you know, in a summarized form, we can say that data and information are look like a back to the past, whereas knowledge and wisdom are associated with uh, what we do now or uh, what we want to achieve in the future. The next the definition of data analytics nowadays because already i told you there is a lots and lots of data so definitely it is necessary to perform some kind of analytics so what is the purpose of doing analytics it helps the business organization and other people to make the effective decision which automatically improve their business growth that is the main uh, uh, goal of uh, performing the analytics so what is data analytics normally a uh, data analytics is a broad term which includes various processes different technologies variety of frameworks and uh, several algorithms to extract meaningful uh, insights from the data. So data analytics consists of many number of processes and different technologies we have to use. Then there are so many uh, kinds of frameworks, different algorithms are required to extract the meaningful insights from the data. The another uh, definition, uh, there are so many definitions. Uh, just I'll, I'm giving only two uh, significant definitions. The here, the data analytics, another definition is, it is the process of extracting and creating information from raw data. We know already what is raw data. Raw data is nothing but unprocessed data. When the data is unprocessed, it doesn't give any meaning. Once it we have to process the data and to make it the to make the data as a useful information. So here uh, the data analytics is nothing but the process of extracting and creating information from the raw data. So what are the processes are to be performed? What are all the computations are required to perform or convert the raw data into the meaningful information? Some of the commonly used processing are computations or filtering, processing, <coughs> categorizing, Conden uh, condensing and contextualizing the data. Then after uh, getting the information, all those information should be in the organized form and it is in the structured form to infer the knowledge about uh, the system, users, environment, operations. So all these will help us to make the system smarter and more efficient. So this is another definition of data analytics. Next, uh, this slide shows what are all the goals of data analytics. There are three significant goals. The first one to predict something, the next one to find patterns and to find other relationship. All the data analytics uh, um, problems okay, uh, should fulfill any one of these three goals. Okay? It belongs to any one of these three category or more than uh, one category. So here to predict something, some of the data analytics problem, we should only focus on prediction. For example, what do you mean by prediction? Here, uh, suppose if I'm having the uh, credit card uh, uh, data set, I want to find out uh, whether a particular customer transaction is uh, um, acceptable transaction or whether a transaction is fraud or not. So this kind of uh, problem comes under prediction category. And if I'm having uh, the weather or data set, I want to find out whether it will rain on a particular day. Suppose if I'm having the disease related data set, I want to find out uh, whether a tumor is benign or malignant. So these kind of uh, analytical problems uh, are comes under the category of prediction to predict something. And the second category is to find patterns in the data. For example, once again, now uh, we can uh, consider the uh, same weather data set. I want to find out what is the top coldest day in a year. 
finding uh, if you suppose i'm having a web related data and i want to find out which pages web pages are visited most on a particular website or uh, if you want to find the most searched celebrity in a particular year so these kind of uh, data analysis are called finding the patterns and the third one is to find the relationship in the data that is if there is a data uh, there are uh, different data objects are there in what way the data are similar with one another not only from the same data set suppose if we are having more number of data sets a uh, similar data sets if we are in need to find out some kind of inference from all those data set that one also comes under this category that is finding the relationship in the data for example finding similar news articles finding similar patient in an electronic health record system finding other related products on an e-commerce website suppose if i am having image data set i want to find out the similar images or finding correlation between news items and stock prices so these kind of uh, analytical problems are uh, uh, belongs to the category relationship to find the relationship so there are three important goals of data analytics one is prediction the next one is uh, pattern finding and the third one is finding the relationship and the fourth uh, one uh, next slide the computational task that is uh, what are all the computational tasks are to be carried out during the analytic analytics process definitely when we are conducting data analytics it is necessary to perform some kind of computational task so what type of computational task are required to perform so this is characterized by the national research council and they have given seven computational tasks are required for massive data analysis it is up to the researchers they can decide what kind of computational tasks are to be performed for the particular data set these these are the uh, seven computational tasks one is uh, basic statistics another one is uh, gen uh, generalized n body problems linear algebraic computations graph theoretic computations optimization integration and alignment problems so in each and every computational task we are going to perform some kind of uh, calculations computations for example in basic statistics we can find mean uh, median variance uh, standard deviation counting the number of variables or a top n uh, distinct uh, and so many other uh, calculations all these are belongs to basic statistics suppose if in our data analytics uh, in, uh, suppose we are using generalized n body problems so what type of uh, calculations uh, here we are going to use that is distance metrics uh, suppose if you are performing clustering process definitely it is very useful we should know the similarity and dissimilarity between the data objects uh, so in that uh, place uh, we have to use uh, uh, distance uh, metrics uh, euclidean distance manhattan distance there are so many distance uh, metrics uh, similarity metrics and at the same time dissimilarity metrics uh, then if you want to uh, write the kernels in finding the similarity between pairs of points nearest neighbor clustering kernel svm all these are generalized n body problems then some of the uh, methods used in linear algebraic computations are linear algebra linear regression and principal component analysis then uh, another uh, one is the fourth uh, computational task is graph theoretic computations uh, this is mainly used for graph search Okay, or uh, shortest path, minimum spanning tree in design and analysis of algorithms. Already we have studied, you know, uh, uh, solving the uh, traveling salesperson problem, all paths, uh, uh, shortest path, then uh, say a minimum spanning tree. So these kind of problems are solved using graph. So, uh, so these are all the calculations are required to perform the graph theoretic computations. Then optimization, of course, we know we should fix the other 
objective function, whether it belongs to either minimization or maximization. Multi objectives also, uh, optimization techniques also available. In addition to this, uh, linear programming, uh, quadratic programming, gradient descent, these are all uh, uh, relevant to optimization techniques. Then integration, popular computations are a Bayesian interface expectations, Markov chain and Monte Carlo methods. Then alignment problems will give the solution for matching between the data sets. Already I told you, you know, if there are more number of data sets are there, suppose somehow we have to match the data sets. Uh, the data sets may contain only the text information or image information or some kind of sequences, uh, DNA sequences, gene sequencing, protein sequencing. So these kind of uh, data sets uh, we, we have to handle. So in that uh, situation, we can uh, make use of the alignment problems, especially hidden Markov model is, uh, 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 is used for uh, performing the alignment related problems we can get the good solutions so analytics should perform any one of these computational tasks so here uh, this slide shows the different types of analytics there are four uh, types of analytics the first one is descriptive analytics diagnostic and predictive and prescriptive so what is descriptive analytics? Normally, descriptive analytics analyzes the past data and it presents the result in a summarized form. Then it can be easily interpreted. Normally, uh, descriptive analytics aims to answer what has happened earlier. It will analyze the data set and find what has happened in the data set. So that kind of information only we can able to get. For example, computing the total number of flags for a particular post, computing the average rainfall, monthly rainfall, finding the average or number of visitors per month on your website. So in the earlier slide, I told you, you know, there are different computational tasks. There are seven types of computational tasks. The computational tasks which are more significant in descriptive analytics are we have to apply basic statistics and also linear algebraic computations. But other uh, uh, computational tasks are not required for descriptive analytics. Then we move on to diagnostic analytics. So in this analytics, it will analyze the past data to diagnose the reasons as why certain events happen. In descriptive analytics, what we will do? We can just analyze the data. Just so we are explain what happened. That information only retrieved by uh, conducting the descriptive analytics. But what is the reason behind why that has happened? So that information, if I want to collect, then definitely we should do diagnostic analytics. So this also analyzes the past data and it will diagnose the reasons as why certain events happen. So it uh, uh, diagnostic analytics aims to answer why did it ha why did it happen? Okay. Suppose uh, one of the uh, for example uh, the business organization want to analyze the sales data. The diagnostic analytics would help them to understand why the sales have decreased or increased for a specific year or uh, for a particular uh, point of time and so on. So these kind of um, inferences we can able to get. So in this diagnostic analytics, what type of computations are required? That is linear algebraic computations, general n-body problems, and some places we can make use of the graph theoretic computations also. Only these three are sufficient to perform the diagnostic analytics. And the next category, that is the third category, is predictive analytics. We know that. What do you mean by prediction? By analyzing the past and present data, we can able to get the future information. That is forecast what might happen in the future. So predicting the occurrence of an event or the likely outcome of an event, that is called prediction modeling. Shortly, we say it aims to answer what is likely to happen. 
some of the examples of mainly this uh, prediction uh, is uh, used in the area of health sector. So what, what is the reason? Early prediction of diseases. Then uh, in addition to that, other uh, pieces also predicting when a fault will occur on your machine in your future and forecasting the pollution levels, then weather forecasting. Everything uh, is uh, related to predictive analytics. Uh, in the earlier slide, we know what are all the computational tasks. So in predictive analytics, what type of computational tasks are to be applied? Here, linear algebraic computations, general end body problems, graph theoretic computations, integration, and alignment problems. So the next important analytics is prescriptive analytics. So here, this aims to answer what can we do to make it happen okay so the prescriptive analytics recommends an action based on the forecast because in predictive analytics will forecast this may happen in the future suppose in future that event may happen okay what type of actions are to be carried out so that uh, suggestions that recommendation is required so that is uh, possible when we are performing the prescriptive analytics. So prescriptive analytics can predict the possible outcomes based on the current choice of the action. For example, this kind of analytics is used to prescribe the best medicine uh, for a treatment of, of a patient based on the outcome of various medicines for similar patients. So here in prescriptive analytics, the computational task used are general end body problems, graph theoretic computations, optimization, and alignment problem. So this is the traditional data analytics. What are all the steps? Not uh, for all the places, all the steps are required. But this is the uh, steps required to perform the traditional analytics. Here they are intended to assess the business data. So here, uh, uh, the data gathering, questioning, modeling, predictions, data mining, simulation, visualization, and optimization. A data gathering, uh, normally the data can be collected from various heterogeneous resources. So the data collected are uh, stored in a particular location. Uh, then uh, the data used for uh, the current analytics uh, is uh, to be selected. So that is a separate step for data selection. Then it is necessary to transform that uh, selected data into our own format. Uh, then uh, using some algorithms, uh, we have to model the data. Using that modeling, if it is uh, possible, we can take, uh, we can make the predictions and uh, simulation. Then the interpreted results, inferences are to be uh, represented into the user in a, a, a very effective manner. Manner. So for that purpose, there is a need for visualization techniques. And if it is necessary, we can apply some optimization techniques also. So these are all the current uh, steps which are required for the traditional analytics. Next, uh, advanced analytics. What do you mean by advanced analytics? In recent years, analytics has extended which can include, which have already included the cognitive knowledge domain. That is, it is the combination of uh, uh, the features of machine learning and the aspects of artificial intelligence. So that is called advanced analytics. So advanced analytics include the traditional analytics as well as the main features of machine learning and aspects of artificial intelligence. Gartner. Uh, Gartner defines the advanced analytic. Gartner, that is the world leading research and advisory company, uh, they defined what is advanced analytics. That is the autonomous or semi autonomous examination of data or content using the sophisticated techniques and tools, typically beyond those of traditional BI which help us to discover deeper insights to make the effective predictions 
and it also generate the recommendations so what uh, uh, the gartner uh, given the definition of advanced analytics is uh, the analytics process should be a completely autonomous one automatic one or a semi automatic with minimum uh, intervention human intervention human assistance is required otherwise uh, the uh, tool or software can able to perform the analytic process automatically but with this we can get uh, the deeper knowledge and also make the predictions and also to make the recommendations so we have to apply all the four kinds of analytics with the ml and ai so that is called the advanced analytics in some of the application areas there is a need for advanced analytics let us see what are they so these are the advanced analytics application domains that is data or text mining in data mining we know that what is data mining data mining is nothing but extracting the hidden knowledge from the large data sets but uh, there are so many subdomains in data mining that is uh, uh, web mining uh, text mining image mining uh, spatial mining utility mining process mining education mining video mining audio mining multimedia mining there are so many uh, subdomains in data mining what is the difference between these subdomains uh, how in what way these domains will differ from one another everything all the domains uh, to can kind of able to perform some kind of uh, analysis and uh, they are going to find out some kind of uh, predictions and some inferences but what is the main difference of here is the type of data used for analytics purpose so in text mining why we call it as text mining text mining handles the huge volume of text data web mining handles the huge volume of web related data then uh, multimedia mining uh, the data is a combination of text audio video and other graphical elements so this is the way uh, we can define uh, the subdomains of the data mining there are so many domains are there why particularly in text mining there is a need for advanced analytics because in text mining usually the text information that is documents a pdf and other related text information are in the form of unstructured format okay so getting inferences or insights from the unstructured or we know there are three types of uh, 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 formats uh, data formats that is one is structured another one is unstructured and another one is semi structured structured format we know uh, with the use of uh, databases normally it is represented in rows and columns so we know databases a uh, student database it consists of set of uh, uh, instances and so uh, under number of uh, attributes so we can make use of uh, sql query or some computations uh, we can able to do and get some uh, uh, information from the databases then that is uh, usually belongs to structured format. There is unstructured format. What do you mean by unstructured? The data is not in a proper format. So it is very difficult to find the insights from the unstructured data. So here the advanced analytics, what it will do here is, first it will convert the unstructured data into the structured one then it will perform the data analytics process then it will find the inferences so for this purpose there is a need for advanced analytics and also um uh, uh, there are different kinds of uh, text related text classification text clustering text summarization there are lots of uh, research issues in text mining next we know what is uh, machine learning machine learning is an application of artificial intelligence which provide the system the ability to automatically learn what is the machine learning we make the machine to learn on its own and uh, based on the situation it can able to take the decisions without uh, getting the assistance from the human so that is the main reason uh, for uh, machine learning then uh, the next one is pattern matching what do you mean by pattern matching usually uh, the searching algorithms are used to find the pattern or a substring from the another bigger string 
then forecasting already we know so whenever if you are using predictive analytics we it is uh, necessary to forecast the future what might happen in the future okay next uh, data visualization this is very very important because nowadays uh, the science of the data is growing how can we effectively visualize the data before uh, the uh, performing the analytics process and after performing the analytical process most of the visualization tools are commercial tools only so it is by using uh, uh, many a uh, minimum number of uh, uh, open source tools are available so it is necessary we have to develop uh, or we have to propose newer algorithms newer visualization tools uh, to represent effectively represent the huge volume of data so then uh, semantic analysis is uh, here also there is a need for advanced analytics because semantic analysis also uh, there is a need for natural language processing that is it is a process of understanding the natural language the way uh, how the human com uh, humans communicate uh, with one another so based on the meaning and context whether uh, it's uh, it's closely related with text mining and nlp natural language processing and sentiment analysis is a process of detecting uh, positive or negative sentiments in the text this one also related to text they now we can uh, able to get the opinions and feedback or recommendations reviews most of these are in the form of text information so this could be analyzed using text mining techniques so we can are able to find out whether it is a positive comment or negative or neutral so this kind of analysis is called a sentiment analysis so here also there is a need for advanced analytics next one network and cluster analysis we know automatically because cluster analysis belongs to unsupervised learning so uh here uh, the the algorithms uh, will effectively finding out the relationship between the data objects then multi variate statistics not simple statistics are used here there is a need for multi multiple variables are to be handled at a particular point of time then what type of statistical approaches are used so we have to prove the result what we have obtained is statistically significant or not so the for that purpose it is necessary for multi variate statistics then graph analysis already i told you some kind of graph theoretic computations uh, that is uh, traveling sales person problem and uh, uh, this um, uh, minimization most of this scheduling problems uh, are uh, solved using graph analysis here also there is a need for uh, advanced analytics uh, tools then simulation complex event processing neural networks so these are all the areas uh, there is a need for advanced analytics so at present uh, there are many advanced analytics tools are available so all these uh, tools uh, can able to perform deep data analysis that is spss you know what is spss that is statistical package for the social sciences this is a software package or it is used for interactive batch mode statistical analysis then oracle analytics so this is mainly used for data visualization uh, for and it will uh, give the enterprise reporting uh, scenario modeling and mobile analytics then the next one is ibm planning analytics it uses ai concept artificial intelligence it automate the planning also planning budgeting and forecasting and derive more intelligent workflows so one of the drawback here is all most of the uh, tools are uh, commercial tools 
okay they have uh, given the trial version but if we go for premium version only we can make use of all the facilities then advanced excel so in using excel itself we can able to perform the data analytics but we should know what is pivot tables or what is lookup how to write the macros these are all essential when we need to conduct uh, data analytics using advanced excel then tableau is a popular uh, data visualization tool uh, it, uh, it so it will uh, present the data in the form of chart and tables then uh, tipco uh, spotfire is uh, nothing but um, uh, to explore and visualize the new discoveries in the data. This is also related to visualization tool. Uh, SAS, SAS is a statistical analysis system. This is used for uh, data management. Uh, if you want to perform multivariate analysis, uh, criminal investigation, predictive analytics, then uh, in addition to this R and Python, we know already those are uh, programming language uh, which are used to, to perform the uh, analytics. So uh, till now, so far we have discussed what is data analytics. Now we move on to business intelligence. What do you mean by business intelligence? There are many uh, business intelligence uh, tools and software are available. So they, what is the main goal of these uh, BI tools and software are they transform the data into actionable insights. Then it helps the business organizations to make effective decisions. Already I told you the need to perform the data analytics will help the business organization to improve their growth. How they are going to improve their growth based on the effective decisions. Okay. So for that purpose only, they are investing more on conducting data analytics. So here, BI, Business Intelligent Tools, describe and characterizes a collection of software applications, business and technical processes. And all these are uh, designed for turning uh, the critical business knowledge into actionable information. So here, uh, the business... Uh, intelligence uh, is uh, uh, the concept of a uh, business per performance management uh, which can be uh, call it uh, which can be called as the analytics of business there are various components are used in the business analytic tools it is necessary we have to apply various metrics measures and creation of dashboards and scorecard planning budgeting forecasting and visualization techniques all are used in the business intelligence so these are some of the bi tools uh, that is a click view click sense micro strategy sap business objects IBM Cognos, Microsoft, Power BI. So all these are able to perform the business uh, uh, related analytics, business related data analytics. So here ClickView is the uh, data visualization. Uh, ClickSense uh, provides the interactive user interface. Uh, it will provide interactive user interface so then they can uh, get information from the user and sending the information to the user. A uh, proper interaction between the user and the tool. Then uh, MicroStrategy is a business intelligence software. It offers data discovery, data visualization, advanced analytics, uh, uh, and the branded reports and statements. Then SAP business object is also a business intelligence. It is mainly used for uh, data reporting, visualization, and sharing. Cognos Analytics already uh, I explained you. It is artificial intelligence based platform. So it will uh, ha help to perform the entire analytic cycle. Then Power BI is a collection of software services app. I, it, this is one of the popular business intelligence tool. That is the Power BI. The Power BI uh, lets you easily connect uh, the various data sources visualize and uh, discover what is important and it can be shared with anyone or uh, to everyone okay so this is one of the uh, feature of uh, power bi so these are all the various there are so many other tools are they but i am highlighting the significant uh, bi tools
the next thing important uh, technology which is uh, closely related to augmented analytics is management information what do you mean by management information because each and every organization they have to maintain their own information because the state of that information is changing from time to time so in, in, in addition to using the digital uh, platform, they are maintaining their information in the hard copies also, record activities also they have to perform. So normally, ma management information involves the delivery of fixed format reports that record the activities. What are all the activities are to be performed? All the activities should be recorded properly. So these commonly include the analysis of volumes. That is how much of volume, how many, how few, how often. So these kind of activities should be recorded. Then summaries, that is where and what type of information we have obtained. Then pure statements of recorded facts. So here the statement of a fact are usually taken from a non-analytical store. So here non-analytical store, which includes a ledger, general ledger, accounts payable, purchasing, payroll, and other uh, human resources. So normally management information reports include business related features. Okay, uh, it is, uh, for example, total summaries, and we can able to do some kind of uh, some simple statistical calculations. So MI tends to provide information more than generate insights. Yes, so far, we have seen the existing technologies which are available at present. Next, the augmented analytics. So this is the latest uh, technology. Uh, let us see what is augmented analytics. So here, uh, the meaning to augment something means what? That is, we uh, make it larger, stronger, or more effective by adding something to it. That is the meaning. So here, so far we have conducted analytics. Then how to how do we make that analytics process a larger one, stronger one, and effective one? Okay, so that is called the augmented analytics. So this term was introduced during the year 2017 by three women researchers, Rita Salam, Chindi Hausen, and Carly Idiot. So in a Gartner research paper. So they have uh, mentioned that uh, augmented analytics uh, is an approach of data analytics that uh, automates the insights using the machine learning and natural language processing. So the everything, the entire analytics process should be automated with the help of machine learning and natural language. Normally, this task is done by a specialist or data scientist or data analyst. But instead of uh, uh, using their expertise, here the tool can able to perform these activities. So that is the main goal behind the augmented analytics. So here, this is the next wave of disruption in the data and analytics market. So here, there is no other way. The data and analytics leaders should plan to adopt this newer technology. So what uh, the Gartner, uh, the uh, company predicted here is the global augmented analytic market is expected to grow to dollar eighteen point four billion by twenty twenty three. The next one is yes. This is also the definition. The augmented analytics is the use of AI and machine learning and natural language processing and advanced statistics to enhance the data analytics process, data sharing, and business intelligence. Here, data analytics software can integrate augmented analytic tools to handle large data sets. We know the use of machine learning and NLP, which gives the augmented tools 
the ability to understand uh, and interact with the uh, data naturally as well as notice the valuable or uh, Ma'am, whether the screen is uh, visible? Small. It's visible, madam, but the screen size is small. So uh, is it possible to increase your screen size? Yes, ma'am. I'll try, ma'am. OK. Sorry to disturb you. Oh, uh, no, no issues, ma'am. Is it OK, ma'am? Yeah, OK, madam. Oh. Uh, I increase the percentage, ma'am, whether it is OK or not. Uh, shall I increase some more? Yeah, it can increase some more, ma'am. OK. Okay, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Okay, okay. So here uh, in the previous uh, slide, uh, there are uh, three components of no? machine learning. We know that uh, already I have explained what is uh, machine learning. It is a systematic computing that uses algorithms and uh, it can able to find out the relationship or uh, trends and patterns. The next to the natural language processing consists of three more sub components. That is a uh, natural language uh, generation and uh, natural language uh, query and automating the insights. So here a natural language generation is a software um, the, that um, takes unstructured data and translate it into plain English readable language. That is the natural language generation. Then automating the insights using, using machine learning algorithms, it will automate the data analysis process. Then what is the reason for natural language query here is it will enable the user to query data using business terms that are either typed on a search box or spoken. Okay, So that also considered as the input. Then we know already what is advanced statistics. All these are uh, relevant. All, all these are important for augmented analytics. So this is the characteristics of augmented analytics, smart data discovery tools. That is, these uh, with the help of these tools, the business professionals influence sophisticated analytical techniques without getting guidance from a technical professional or analyst. So each and every human being, suppose if they are interested to do some kind of data analytics, also will become a data scientist. Okay. The main uh, intention, main objective of augmented analytics is uh, the most uh, more than 30 to 40 percentage of uh, uh, de uh, human uh, human beings may become uh, a citizen data scientist. Okay, that is one of the uh, term which is related to augmented analytics. That is citizen data scientist. Next characteristic is self-service business intelligent platforms. This help to make uh, uh, strategic, uh, operational, and tactical plans for the uh, business. Then cognitive search. Here we have to apply the advanced research methodology because once cognitive means it is necessary, we should use ML machine learning and AI related searching techniques. Then automated data preparation. Uh, whenever uh, the data is used for uh, uh, analytical purpose, it is necessary we have to prepare the data for processing. That is, it is necessary to clean the data more quickly. So these are all the uh, significant characteristics of augmented analytics. 
what are the benefits of uh, augmented analytics uh, here <coughs> so already we know uh, it's uh, uh, augmented analytics automate the process of understanding and analyzing the data and generating the useful insights so it identify the patterns and uh, shows the clear visualization and trends here there are three uh, categories of, of uh, augmented analytics one is augmented data preparation augmented uh, data discovery augmented data science and machine learning so here in the uh, previous uh, slide the characteristics uh, we have seen augmented data preparation that is we have to clean the data so in uh, whatever uh, the data analytics process the first step is the pre-processing what do you mean by pre-processing we have to verify the data whether uh, we have to verify the quality of the data because before conducting data analytics we have to ensure that the data is error free data because if the data is correct accurate then in the analytical process also you as the 100% accurate answers suppose if the data with impurities inconsistent data is used for analytic purpose definitely we will not expect 100% accuracy so this is very very important step we before conducting the data analytics process the data should be an accurate one so we have to verify whether any data is missing or any noise in the data or there is impurities in the data whether the data is consistent one or not okay all these problems are to be solved automatically that is called augmented data preparation so for that purpose there is a need for machine learning algorithms then augmented data discovery it is defined as the use of machine learning to enable findings so in the system uh, the machine learning algorithm automatically enable the findings and visualizes and narration of the insights okay as well as the results without building any models or writing algorithms manually that is called the augmented data discovery the third one is augmented data science and machine learning it is nothing but to automate the essential features of analytic modeling which uh, help to decrease the necessity for expert that uh, generates operationalize and manage the models so these three sub divisions are very important in augmented analytics so these are the advantages of augmented analytics that is the first one is augmented analytics is better than artificial intelligence today machine learning and artificial intelligence enabled uh, data analytics along with the uh, human intelligence uh, help us to make uh, excellent decision nowadays uh, ai normally ai means uh, it, uh, it is the acronym of artificial intelligence now it has been changed now this is ai is called as augmented intelligence then augmented analytics optimizes productivity it is a challenging task to do repetitive and time consuming task because in some situation uh, we can uh, uh, it is uh, necessary for us to do some uh, repetitive work it will it is a time consuming task that uh, require very less intelligence so with the use of uh, artificial intelligence these repetitive tasks can be automated that increases the human productivity then the uh, augmented intelligence can deliver more value augmented analytics uh, system can be easily implemented on any technology stack then augmented intelligence can change retail analytics for example with the use of nlp and augmented analytics if, if there is a in a supermarket uh, at a particular point of time uh, the owner of the supermarket uh, can ask the suggestion that is what are the top trends need to follow to increase today's sale so immediately the tool can give some suggestion which will improve the business growth 
so this kind of uh, information is very important for business organization so the ai augmented intelligence can change the retail analytics then uh, agile centralized bi provision then uh, mutually beneficial business interaction sometimes so uh, the organizations want to share the data business data among themselves so that is called uh, mutually beneficial business interactions decentralized analytics so for the analytics to be performed in the centralized uh, place but uh, now uh, it will uh, accept the augmented analytics uh, we can able to perform it in the decentralized analytics uh, also the data may in different uh, places irrespective of the location of the user we can able to perform the uh, analytics then understandable ui of augmented analytics that is understandable user interface so tools used to do augmented analytics are easy to use and uh, support an extended range of analytic workflow capabilities so there is a need for a user interface uh, it, it will uh, give us a user friendly interaction between the tool as well as the user the next uh, slide shows uh, the future of uh, augmented analytics just to look at the uh, figure there are uh, three <laughs> different uh, evolution during 1990 the data processing and the basic level of analytics were performed by using coding so we have we want to write a lengthy coding to perform simple analytics process normally it required a month's time to get insights but after uh, uh, during the year uh, uh, 2000 to 2010 uh, the first big wave of disruption in data and analytics arrived, uh, arrived. that is uh, uh, the data mining has been introduced so the interpretation the results of data mining are represented in the visual form so we are uh, changing uh, the coding based platform to the visual based platform so here data are visualized in a code free and interactive environment using business intelligent tools so here it will take a day or hours to get the insights but now from the year 2017 onwards the augmented analytics is the next big wave of disruption in the market of data and analytics so in the future it will be recognized as a commanding driver in the field of analytics bi data science and machine learning platforms so with this we can able to get immediate real-time insights okay so that is the future of augmented analytics so this is the current uh, data analytics uh, workflow that is uh, there are three important steps prepare data finding patterns in data and building models and the third one is share and operationalize the findings so here are the content authors that is the uh, analyst data analyst and data scientist and experts uh, are performing uh, these uh, three uh, data to insight to action activities iteratively <coughs> because so this is the arrow represents so here uh, prepare data uh, manual data preparation manually uh, to verify the data quality everything after data preparation the data is used for uh, finding the patterns or finding the inferences so here there is a need for a uh, manual exploration of data then using interactive visualization or uh, manual feature engineering and model building then after that uh, how do we are uh, how, how what are the actions are to be performed so that is uh, given in the third step now what is the augmented uh, analytics workflow here here also there are uh, three uh, steps augmented data preparation here finding patterns and sharing and operational so everything <coughs> here in it augments their analysis 
by using the machine learning to, op, uh, to automate the three main parts of the data and analytics workflow. Here also prepare the data. The algorithms automatically detect schemas, uh, profiling, cataloging, identifying uh, metadata and the recommendations. So here finding patterns in data and building models. So you to make use of the natural language query. OK, maybe it may be given in the uh, search box or uh, it's a voice as a considered as a query algorithms find all relevant patterns features are automatically selected models are also automatically generated code is auto generated model management is augmented then this is move on to the uh, action insights are narrated in natural language Suppose uh, after performing a uh, data analytics process, suppose if I'm using R tool, uh, the uh, data, the visualization results are represented in a graph. Normally, it is very difficult for us to understand what it tries to say. Okay. Suppose if I'm asking, okay, what are uh, this uh, graph? Uh, Okay, can you explain suppose if i'm asking like this a tool can uh, uh, can uh, uh, explain the information about uh, that finding this is very easy for uh, the user so that is the concept uh, is uh, applied uh, is uh, in the augmented analytics that is insights or narrated in the natural language, what are all the language is required? Suppose I know only Tamil, so I want to get the narration from only the Tamil I can able to get. So irrespective of the language, the tool can able to provide the narration. So that is the way the actions are to be performed. So this is the augmented analytics workflow. So this uh, slide uh, shows some of the augmented analytics capability. Here it includes um, three things. One is augmented data preparation, augmented ABI, that is augmented analytics and business intelligence, augmented data science and machine learning. DSML is nothing but augmented data science and machine learning. Let us see what is augmented data preparation. What are all the capabilities? That is, what are all the different types of processes are to be carried out during this step? Automated data preparation, automated matching, joining, profiling, tagging and annotating data prior to data preparation suppose uh, our university wishes to collect information student information from all the affiliated colleges so uh, each and every college uh, can uh, send uh, send the information so they have to match all the information they have to combine all the information what they received so everything should be done uh, everything uh, ought to be uh, done automatically in the augmented analytics in say, next one is sensitive attribute recognition suppose if there is a data set some of the attributes are very sensitive confidential it should not be disclosed to others so we don't know which attribute is a sensitive attribute just seeing the data it is very difficult which attribute is significant suppose if there is an employee data set which attribute is significant suppose the employee data set contains account information or salary information information or uh, uh, the, so that is considered to be the uh, confidential one so the tool will automatically identify or uh, verify the attributes which are the attributes or sensitive attributes then it can treat that attributes in a different manner then it automate repetitive transformations and integrations it will verify the data quality and enrichment recommendation suppose the quality of the data is poor then how can you make uh, the data as a quality one so it will give the suggestions so you do this then uh, the quality of the data will be improved so that kind of suggestions we can able to get so this is called augmented data preparation the next one is augmented analytics and business intelligence so here um, it include automated descriptive insights key driver analysis segmentation and cluster identification anomaly and outlier deduction forecast 
uh, predictions and contextualized and relevant insights. All the significant uh, tasks are carried out here. So that is, uh, we have to automate the descriptive insights. So what are all the insights? We, the descriptive, it is it should be in the descriptive form. Then uh, segmentation and cluster identification, anomaly and outlier detection. Uh, this is one of the important uh, problems. Some of the data points which uh, does not fix uh, nicely into the uh, data model. So we have to give important to those data items that is called anomaly or outlier detection next one augmented dsml that is augmented data science and machine learning so here uh, automated feature generation and selection so if there is a data set it consists of so many features so for a particular uh, type of analytics all the features are not required it is very difficult uh, for the data scientist or analyst to pick uh, which attributes which features are required for the current analytical process but in the case in this case uh, the tool will automatically uh, select the features generation of features also possible then automated algorithm selection if uh, i want to perform classification there are a lot of classification algorithm is there if the particular data set i want to uh, classify these kind of uh, classification so it will suggest so this classification algorithm is suited for this particular data set so that kind of suggestion we can able to get that is uh, in the case of automated algorithm selection so using that uh, algorithm the model can be uh, generated whether uh, the model uh, may uh, produce uh, um, uh, uh, accuracy of that model is uh, uh, comparatively very uh, low then how can we improve the accuracy so that is also possible automated model tuning then automated model deployment and monitoring so this is uh, these are all the tasks are performed uh, by the uh, subdivision of augmented analytics that is augmented dsml so this is augmented aba so this slide shows already many companies have started and released the augmented analytics based software products but all these uh, products are commercial one okay here uh, these are all the products which belongs to augmented abi augmented analytics and business intelligence let us see one by one uh, just answer rocket it uh, <coughs> answer rocket is a software product so it enables users to ask questions and analyze data in the natural language. Then using that, it generates the insights and narration to explain the findings. Then uh, IBM. Uh, so here in the answer rocket, a uh, user asks uh, questions and uh, enter keywords in the search box. It presents uh, suggestions. Next, IBM Cognos Analytics already we have seen. So in addition to that, uh, they have uh, provided the uh, ad hoc analysis within one modern analytics and BI platform. Oracle Analytics Cloud includes integrated data preparation, data discovery, interactive dashboards and scenario what if planning options next one the outlier uh, outlier is a kind of uh, software product okay this was developed by the outlier vendor there is a name of the vendor also outlier so it monitors business data uh, for unexpected changes and important patterns, for example, any anomalies or trends on the uh, relationship are there. Then uh, ClickSense, uh, it's a modern uh, analytics and BI platform. Uh, they continue to expand the augmented capabilities. Then. Um, SAS Visual Analytics. This combines reporting, data preparation, and visual exploration and dashboards. Then CSense. It offers uh, data preparation, analytics, and visual exploration of complex data. The next vendor is uh, uh, next product is ThoughtSpot. They provide visual exploration 
and the data uh, dashboards and augmented analytics in a single platform it will support a parallel processing also thought spot uh, this product uh, support uh, massively parallel processing uh, which is used for uh, all these are indexed for fast query performance next uh, tipco spot fire it uh, provides uh, extensive capabilities for uh, analytics dashboard interactive visualization and uh, data preparation in a single design tool so it uh, it also offers uh, flexible processing options either in memory or in the database so these are the tools are uh, augmented abi some of the other tools these are the tools are uh, are uh, for uh, augmented uh, data science and machine learning abel abel is nothing but it maximizes the win rate uh, then uh, optimize the marketing campaigns to predict the customer churn and predict the inventory stock out everything is uh, possible uh, by using abel it also perform automated uh, feature engineering to find the relationship in the data next uh, kraken uh, the uh, the citizen data scientist and analyst quickly connect to data and uh, other uh, bi tools and uh, using this they are building the models data robot uh, will automatically perform the operations like uh, uh, missing value imp imputation already i told you know before uh, 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 performing the analytics process the data should be pre processed so that kind of pre processing if uh, data is uh, missing or any impurities in the data are verified by the data robot and some of the text mining uh, standardization and data partitioning it is necessary uh, in some uh, in some situation we have to partition the data if uh, there is a huge volume of data somehow we have to slice the data that is segmentation data segmentation data partitioning it becomes mandatory so at that time it is very difficult to in what way what the strategy is to be used to divide the data so that can be uh, performed by the data robot then our uh, data storage platform this is an uh, augmented dsml it allows a business domain expert uh, scientists and engineers to automatically analyze uh, the sensor and enterprise data and uh, they can optimize the complex r and d manufacturing process next uh, the dot data enterprises here a uh, dot uh, data platform automate the entire uh, data science process by supporting multiple data formats uh, already i told you know structured format unstructured format semi structured format so all the uh, for, uh, data formats are uh, supported uh, by the data uh, dot data platform in h20 driverless uh, ai it uh, delivers uh, the time series uh, capability to optimize for almost any prediction time window then ibm watson uh, studio is used for rapid machine learning experimentation then erin predictive analytics cloud is a time series modeling and forecasting platform uh, uh, for augmented analytics it automate the correlation modeling and testing then sais uh, visual data mining and machine learning it uh, this is used for uh, automated insight generation uh, which includes a key driver analysis and natural language generation then next uh, tip code data science this is for uh, automated insight generation and also data preparation capabilities so these are the uh, tools which can able to do both which are uh, 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 which can able to perform both the combination of augmented abi and augmented dsml that is power bi einstein analytics plus sap analytics cloud and telius so here uh, power bi it is uh, it can able to perform key driver analysis augmented dsml and machine learning model 
then uh, einstein analytics plus uh, includes uh, uh, the uh, discovery it's einstein prediction builder and discovery and uh, data insights so with the help of ai and machine learning it will generate suggestions for how to clean and prepare the data then uh, sap analytics cloud combine data discovery predictive analytics planning and budgeting in an integrated package telius is an augmented analytics platform that combine natural language search and conversational interface automated discovery of insights okay up to this uh, the uh, products which are uh, currently available ma'am shall i continue 10 more minutes i would like to discuss about only the use cases few use cases okay madam yeah go okay. ahead madam okay ma'am thank you so these are uh, some of the augmented analytics use cases the first one is customer churn customer churn is nothing but business loses a customer so every business wants to avoid it and also to identify the issues that most often cause a customer to leave so here uh, we have to uh, identify why uh, the customers uh, are dissatisfied okay uh, normally dis uh, dissatisfied customers uh, close an account uh, or uh, they can uh, choose another service provider without explaining or uh, without intimating so how the augmented analytics uh, help here is uh, to identify the customers who are likely to leave Okay, and their issues, how uh, to improve the services and processes and how to increase the customer retention. So this is very important in the areas of banking sectors, financial institutions, utility company, business to consumer and business to business. So because uh, using uh, this uh, uh, play these places, uh, uh, when we are applying augmented analytics, the major benefits are uh, we have it, it reduces the customer churn and it improves the customer retention and it identify and rank the customer dissatisfaction issues. So this is one of the use case. So we can try to view or we have we try to uh, do all the task in an automated way. Even though many tools are there, already I told you those are commercial tools. We, the researchers, if you are interested, we can propose some new algorithms. Okay, uh, so the algorithms uh, can able to do everything in an automated way. So that is the augmented analytics. So the, you consider these are all the research uh, challenges. Okay, the next one, fraud mitigation. What do you mean by fraud mitigation? Uh, fraud uh, can be committed in a number of different ways and also in a number of different settings. For example, a fraud can be committed in a banking, uh, insurance, and uh, government and healthcare sector, mostly financial, uh, uh, um, in, uh, financial industry. There is a problem of uh, fraud. So organizations must work to mitigate fraud so then only they can improve their business results so it is necessary to develop fraud detection process and also to enable operations monitoring so there is a use of integrated data to identify the most common and unique signs of fraud that is uh, we have to set uh, the threshold and alerts to track and monitor the various events so this kind of uh, use cases are mainly used in financial services healthcare sector and public sector and the third one is quality control augmented analytics so here uh, quality issues always if there is a business uh, uh, there are a lot of uh, quality issues will arrive identifying these issues uh, helps to streamline the development process and also it uh, speed product and service completion and it will also increase the customer uh, satisfaction and brand reputation so using advanced analytics that is augmented analytics to identify the quality issues which will improve the production process 
uh, protect the business against liability claims. So um, it is mainly used for manufacturing and production, production, IT consulting, telecommunication, and utilities. So using analytics or business organization can identify these issues. Uh, they affect uh, uh, before they affect the brand or reputation. So the next one is uh, demand planning. So some of the issues a business must anticipate and plan to accommodate or uh, to forecast the inventory necessary to meet the seasonal demand. That is uh, the number of uh, suppliers needed to satisfy the need that is across the country or across the state. The need for equipment maintenance of, to ready plans for peak production, uh, training requirements to meet the needs of a new product, everything. So here uh, the data are integrated from different data sources. Here the augmented analytic help the business uh, to anticipate a production demand, plan for new locations to meet demand and identify the operational issues. So here uh, it will help to forecast and predict the customer buying behavior and changes in product demand across multiple segments. So these are the application areas, manufacturing, third party logistics, tourism, hospitality, product sales and marketing. So this is product service, cross sell and upsell. So here uh, uh, normally, uh, business uh, managers and uh, uh, owners are happy when customers buy products or services and uh, uh, they are even happier when they can influence customer satisfaction to cross sell and upsell products so just you look at the uh, picture okay there are three different products the first one is the cross sell okay uh, this is one product plus this is one product and this is another product this is the called cross sell an item uh, purchased by a customer with another item another item so this is called upsell so uh, just increasing the quantity of the item so uh, they, they are giving this kind of offers to the customers definitely their revenue and brand, they, uh, revenue will be increased okay uh, so here, uh, uh, the main reason behind is uh, it, they want to increase the customer purchases, repeat buying behavior. So here, advanced analytics help the enterprise to marketing messaging and make the right suggestion at the right time. So customer are ready to make the decision. So this is mainly used for uh, retail uh, clothing manufacturers, financial services, enter, uh, entertainment, sports, travel, hospitality, and sales. The next one is maintenance management. Okay, here uh, maintenance is very, very important because uh, the business organization must focus on maintenance to keep equipment up and running, and uh, they are uh, intended to reduce the downtime. So here, uh, they need to perform various maintenance services, anticipating required resources, hours on the job, and types of training required is also necessary. <coughs> here, advanced analytics uh, can take the guesswork out of production equipment maintenance and anticipate the routine maintenance if there are a lot of machineries are there okay what type of uh, maintenance is required for uh, the particular component uh, in a particular machine everything should be anticipated well in advance then uh, the uh, no failure may happen so it can be avoided, uh, the outcome of the uh, business will be in a good state. So that is the main intention of maintenance ma uh, management. So this is mainly used in production, infrastructure, utilities, and service business. The next one is customer targeting. Uh, here also in customer uh, targeting, we have to anticipate and satisfy the customer needs. 
because we have to analyze the buying frequency, the type of uh, items so that a uh, that a customer uh, wishes to buy based on the demographic information that is age, income, interest, uh, geography, gender, and education. Based on these information, the product and service purchases are uh, analyzed. Then uh, they can uh, provide some offers. Okay, then a marketing campaign uh, should be conducted. Okay, this is called customer targeting. This is mainly used for uh, retail industry, real estate, electronics, manufacturing, hospitality, entertainment, and media. The another one is resource attrition. So resource attrition is nothing but uh, 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 that is uh, sometimes uh, the employees in the business organization uh, may uh, uh, get a dissat a dissatisfaction okay about uh, uh, in that uh, about the uh, organization that is the business uh, people oh no so here uh, the organization it is a very expensive to proposition to replace an employee so here uh, the, because uh, hire we have to hire a new individual and we it is necessary to provide a proper training to that new individual so here during that transition from hiring and training there will be a loss of productivity and the risk of additional errors so to retain the current employees the organization must understand what makes a team member leave a position what makes them want to stay and uh, invest in the future of the business and what type of issues will create dissatisfaction so with the help of augmented analytics we can able to find the key skills experience and traits that ensure a good fit for your position and what type of training what type of mentoring or support is required to provide to that uh, the current employees okay then uh, technology this is uh, used in technological industry consulting cyber security and hospitality okay only few more slides uh loan approval this is also another uh, use case so this is mainly used in uh, credit union bank insurance real estate and construction so the process of advanced analytics uh, help to uh, give the suggestion whether the loan can be given to the particular uh, uh, person or not so uh, based on their uh, previous uh, payment history based on the uh, demographic information and other uh, factors can influence to make the decision then marketing optimization so analytics what do you mean by uh, marketing optimization so what uh, uh, with using this marketing optimization it will maximize the business so every business must control its marketing and advertising budget by creating and disseminating messages to the right audience at the right time using the right approach so for this purpose there is a need for advanced analytics this is mainly used in retail auto sales residential real estate entertainment and media then now uh, this is for predictive analytics using external data augmented analytics it is sometimes it is necessary to collect uh, data from external sources also how do we integrate all the data that is both internal data and external data then how it can be used for prediction so this is uh, this is applied to all the places not only the particular domain it can be applied to all the places uh, then online target marketing so this one also it uh, give the assistance how do we collect the social data email based marketing campaigns google analytics app and websites and e-commerce channels sales data and more so here this is mainly used for retail subscription services media entertainment insurance and financial analytic uh, financial services and uh, professional services okay 
so i can uh, stop here so the augmented analytics is i i want i want to conclude what is augmented analytics we the researchers we try to propose a newer and newer tools and software which can do all the process automatically and also uh, the inferences insights what we obtained from the analytics also be a narration man and it should be clearly explained uh, uh, it will give a clear explanation to the users okay so we make uh, the normal persons also a data scientist okay so in data yes yes okay so we uh, so in data mining and the traditional data analytics there are five steps or day uh, there is data selection collection selection transformation uh, then modeling mining algorithm then visualization each and everything is uh, to be uh, performed separately but here the augmented analytics will try to integrate all the task there are a lot of research challenges or they okay, we try to develop our own tools thank you these are uh, some of my references so all the information are available in the net i have collected the information from the uh, 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 google search only okay if you are interested you can collect other uh, information thank you nice presentation madam uh, participants, do you have any questions? If you have any questions, kindly unmute your audio and then you can ask. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, is superior to artificial intelligence yes in, sir in exactly in what measurement this augmented intelligence is superior to the artificial intelligence sir nowadays sir am i audible sir uh, yes please sir in artificial intelligence uh, is used in the augmented analytics using we have to make uh, the system to think on its own that is the uh, artificial intelligence now so each and every place the term uh, the term has been changed hereafter uh, artificial intelligence becomes a part of the augmented analytics because in augmented analytics all the tasks are to be uh, performed using machine learning and artificial intelligence so uh, everything should be automated so it will try to make all the tasks are to be performed in a smart way so that only the gartner paper they have given in in future in your future ai means not artificial intelligence it is the augmented intel, uh, intelligence because ai becomes a part of the augmented uh, analytics so that is the uh, term they said in that uh, paper sir because ai it becomes will become a part of the augmented analytics you can you tell it in a measure mathematical measurements uh, uh, for example everything is automated when you come for intelligence we are yes sir uh, completely 100 percent automation yes sir uh, yes sir in percentage what is the percentage of automation in artificial intelligence and what is the percentage of in augmented intelligence what is the percentage that we are aiming for in research and innovation sir because now it is in the uh, we are going to develop the uh, solution sir so data i want to perform all the task in a complete uh, automatic one it's a uh, very difficult for me to do okay for data preparation suppose if i am writing a machine learning algorithm then i have to apply some kind of measures performance measures 
suppose after uh, collecting the data i want to perform a uh, transformation there also i want to uh, write a machine learning algorithm there i will apply some kind of measures so not for uniform measures is used for all the places i told you there are so many steps so now also the vendors have developed many products the, those also those products also can able to perform some kind of task only that is augmented uh, uh, data preparation is a separate task augmented uh, analytics and business intelligence is separate task augmented data science and machine learning is separate task so there is a separate measures are used for data preparation there will be a separate measure used for augmented abi there will be a separate measure used for data science and machine learning so now only this is the state of uh, uh, art uh, uh, information so now only the researchers has started to develop uh, the work in this area so we have to try to find out what are all the metrics are required for automatic data preparation once if we start to do the research then only we come to know that what are all the metrics are essential suppose if we want to perform everything in a automated manner so no tool uh, is able to do all the three tasks data preparation as well as uh, augmented abi as well as augmented dsml okay uh, the combination of uh, augmented abi and the dsml is uh, uh, performed by only four tools but uh, that one also there is a need for data preparation is performed separately but in future if it is possible we can integrate all the task so there if you are developing machine learning algorithms we have to uh, uh, give our own metrics based on the type of data we are going to conduct the analysis because the performance measure will differ from one type of data to another type of data thank you madam thank you sir sir okay sir is it okay very kind of you thank you madam thank you okay sir thank you sir thank you uh, on behalf of the organizing team of uh, aims 2021 i sincerely thank dr s vijayrani madam assistant professor department of computer science of vardar university for her wonderful presentation rich in content on a novel topic augmented intelligence so uh, madam has given a new definition for ai that is uh, instead of artificial intelligence now we'll be able to say that it is augmented intelligence so she has given a deep insight on augmented intelligence its advantages and applications especially like augmented business intelligence augmented data science and machine learning with uh, multiple relevant use cases thank you madam i think this uh, lecture will definitely serve as an eye opener for researchers to dive into this new research domain and then uh, i was re really surprised that you delivered the lecture with the same energy and tone throughout the session so <laughs> thank you madam <laughs> thank you <laughs> thank you, uh, thank thank you, you. madam for being part of aims 2021 Thank, thank you, you. ma'am. So uh, once again, I thank uh, Dr. Neeri Shantirani, madam, for giving this wonderful opportunity. Thank you very much. Thank you, participants. Thank you.